Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to Minute on the Mountain. I've got Andrew with me today. He's over there getting his gear ready in the truck. We're out west of Tremont in some walk-in access area. So I'll just show you this. We're gonna go on a little rabbit hunt today. And then I'm also gonna be testing the Fire Maple Star X2 camping kit. It's a cooking stove. So here's just some information on the access. You may only enter this walk and access property to go hunting. You must have a valid authorization number, which I have. And then it talks about special regulations. But this is cool that landowners allow you to do this. So anyway, we've got to hike up this fence line for about a quarter of a mile. And then to the left of that fence line is where the actual property is that we'll be hunting. So wish us luck. So hopefully we can get on a few rabbits. Okay, we got about a quarter mile to go up this fence line, then we'll make a left. It is cold this morning. The high today is only going to be 24, but it's not that warm yet. I would guess it's in the high teens, probably 18, 19 right now. But the sun's out. We haven't seen the sun shine in like two weeks. It's been either snowing, raining, or overcast, so it's nice to be out in the sunshine. Pretty crunchy layer of snow on top. You can probably hear us breaking through. They've got snow here, but not as much as we have in Logan. All right, guys, I dropped down into this little ditch because there are rabbit tracks everywhere down here. Let's see if maybe I can brush something out for Andrew. He's carrying the shotgun. I mean, I'm hunting, I guess. I've got my pistol, but I'm really not planning to be the shooter today. I'm planning for Andrew to be able to be the shooter. So let's see if we can come down here and brush some of these pockets for him. Boom, right there. Andrew, come on. Right there. He's still right there, dude. You're, that's fine. Shoot him. Aim for the head so you don't ruin the meat. Hit him again. There you go. Good job. <laughs> well, guys, I had the camera running, so hopefully you saw that. Here I am brushing, and he... <laughs> Angie wasn't paying attention. Okay. All right, there's his first little cottontail. Angie, is that your first rabbit ever? I think so. You shot grouse before. I think it's your first yeah, rabbit ever. Nice. Rabbit. I've shot at a rabbit before, but I don't think I've ever killed one. All right, so not a very big rabbit, little cottontail. We're hoping to get two or three more just like that so that we can make something with them when we get home. And be ready for something else to come busting out of that ditch when you get down in there. Okay, he went down into like, he went down in that bush, but he didn't run, so he's just there. He just dropped down off the snow where you can't see him. I know what bush he's on. Well, here, let me come up on the top real quick. Just okay. Do you still see him? I hit him. Okay, do you still see him? Okay, reload before you walk up on him.
See him? Okay, you hit him right over here. All right, Andrew just got a second little cottontail. Well, these guys are pretty small out here, these desert cottontails, but that's how it always is. So sweet, now we can do another rabbit recipe when we get home. Nice job, Andrew. Got our rabbit all cleaned and quartered up. We were able to keep uh, both the front and hind quarters on one of the rabbits, and then both the hind and one front on the other. The other front uh, just had a lot of blood damage on it. And then um, I call it the back straps of the rabbit. I'm not sure that's what it is. Anyway, we're able to get um, three out of the four on that as well. So I have this in, uh, I had to double bag it because the first uh, bag I had, the little, little leg bones poked through and made a mess. But I'm gonna marinate this for about four hours. And it's got garlic, oregano, thyme, cumin, salt and pepper. It called for olive oil. I used avocado oil instead. We were, we were out of olive oil. And is that, they're supposed to have a red onion in it, which I'll, I don't have a red onion here at the house, so I'm not sure if I'll replace that with anything or not. Uh, and then it's got uh, the juice of one lemon. So I think that's everything, just to read it off to you again. It's got the avocado oil, avocado oil the two cloves of garlic crushed, juice of a lemon, the oregano, the thyme, paprika, cumin, pepper, and salt. I'm gonna let that sit for about four hours, chill down, and then we're gonna crank up the grill and grill these. And I think I'm gonna serve it with a yogurt sauce, like a Greek style yogurt sauce, we'll see. All right, guys, it's time to get these on the grill. I know that camera's not a good camera angle. I'll flip it around once I get these on the grill and show you. Just don't have anybody here to help me. I'm kind of by myself, so. Let's get these going. Oh man, it smells awesome. That marinade smells so good. Okay, we got them all on. We'll cook those up, and uh, I decided not to do the yogurt sauce. I'm doing like a spicy dipping sauce, I'll call it, and I'll tell you guys what the ingredients are on that in just a minute. All right, these have been on about eight minutes. We're just gonna check them. Probably not quite ready to flip, except maybe one little tiny piece of back strap. Yeah, they're not ready to flip yet, so we're gonna just leave them on. Come back and check probably another five, six minutes. Just keep them from sticking here. Oh man, they smell so good, guys. All right, back out to flip them over. Oh, that one got a little burnt. Looks like maybe there on that end. Oh, 
man, guys, I'm telling you, they smell so good. And I said I don't have all my smell because of COVID, so they really smell good. All right, time to pull these off. At least the front ones for sure. They're going to be overdone if I don't get them off. Oh, man, that looks good. This one's a little overdone, obviously. I well, certainly want to make sure they're cooked all the way, though. I do not like... I like my like large game animals, medium rare. I hate to have elk or deer meat that's overcooked. But for small game, for birds, for fish, anything like that, I'm, I'd rather have it overcooked than undercooked. So I'm going to leave those two thick ones on there just for a little bit more. Well guys, it's time to dig in. I've got the rabbit here. Let's take one of these little front quarters first. Obviously not as much meat on them. I'm going to try that dipping sauce. Oh, that's good. That is really good. I'm going to try without the sauce, just the straight rabbit. That marinade is fantastic, guys. It's got, I can taste a little bit of the citrusy from the lemon. I can taste the cumin. Man, really, really good. Let's try one of the hindquarters because it's going to be a bigger piece of meat. Whoa, that went flying, guys. <laughs> Sauce on it. Yeah, it might be better without the mar uh, without the sauce. Actually, just the straight meat with the marinade is so good. Pull this bigger chunk off here. Yeah, I think I like it better without the dipping sauce. I'll still put the recipe of the dipping sauce in here as well as the full recipe to this. Um, I'm trying to think if I like it more than the rabbit cacciatore I did. I think they're they're about the same. They, they're different. They're, they don't taste similar, but I think I like it about the same. And I think I gave that an eight. So I'm going to go with an eight on this. Uh, I'm going to continue eating this. You guys don't want to watch me eat, and then we'll wrap this up with the minute on the mountain. Time to wrap this video up with the channel shout out in the minute on the mountain. The channel that I want to shout out tonight is Southern Patriot. So if you've never checked out Nikki's channel over at Southern Patriot, please do. She does a lot of Fired Up Friday videos, some bushcrafting videos. Uh, she just recently did a series on uh, some knives that she had purchased. Uh, just a little bit of everything. Uh, obviously, an out, kind of an outdoorsy and a bushcraft theme. Uh, I think you really like her channel. I'll put a link in the description. So again, that's Southern Patriot. Check her out when you have some time. The Minute on the Mountain comes from Song of Songs or Song of Solomon, depending upon how you were taught growing up. And we're going to go to Song of Songs, chapter 8, verse 4. And this is where the, the uh, bride is talking. And she says, Daughters of Jerusalem, I charge you, do not arouse or awaken love until it so desires. This is actually the third time that this phrase is used in the book. It's used in chapter 2, chapter 3, and then here again in chapter 8. And it, it really kind of has two meanings or, or, you know, different Bible scholars, I don't know if argue is the right word, but, but have two different perspectives on this. Um, one is that, that she's saying, you know, don't go too fast. Let's make sure that this relationship is 
mature, uh, is meaningful before we go too fast, uh, particularly in the physical aspects of the relationship. The other is that, hey, let's not arouse those physical desires until we can go all the way, until we can consummate the marriage. So um, you know, I think that's a good warning for young people. I, I don't know that I get a lot of young people that watch my channel, but, but young people don't arouse or awaken love until it so desires. Don't put yourself in tempting situations. Don't put yourself in situations where it's going to be hard to pump the brakes, if you know what I mean. Uh, and I know that's that's so hard in today's sexualized culture. I mean, everywhere you turn. I remember when I was a, a kid, a teenager, even in my early 20s, you kind of had to look for trouble in that area. And now I feel like it's, it's looking for you. So anyway, that's Song of Songs, chapter 8, verse 4. Uh, when you have some time, take a look at that. Let me know if you have any questions on it. And I appreciate you guys coming along today. Thanks for joining us on this Catch and Cook. Had a great time with Andrew today, just spending some time with him and being out in God's creation with him and being able to harvest a couple of rabbits and cook them up was fun. And they were really good. At, they, were, they were tough. So this is only the third or fourth time I've cooked rabbit. And it's the first time that I've grilled it. So you guys have cooked rabbit more than me. Maybe you can let me know when you grill rabbit. Is it is it tougher like that? The other times I've cooked it, I've basically deep fried it, and it seemed more tender than tonight. But the flavor of that marinade was fantastic. I'll, I'll definitely use that marinade again. I might even try that on some lamb or some deer steak or something like that. Uh, so anyway, thanks so much for coming along, guys. God bless you. We'll see you the next time right on the mountain.